The darker aspects of life have always been points of fascination in the arts. One artist's work is a great example of this. Henry Fuseli, born Johann Heinrich Fuseli, was a Swiss-English painter in the 1700s. He was born on February 6, 1741, in Zurich. Later in life, he would say his birth month was a cursed cold month, as you may have guessed from my diminutive stature and crabbed disposition. He was described to be complex and have an ambivalent character, and he was no more than five feet tall, but his intellect and skill growth showed very early on. Many have said his talent was inevitable. In fact, his father was a portrait painter, a writer and historian, and his godfather, Solomon Gessner, was a landscapist and theorist. According to Fuseli himself, he began to draw at just eight years old by making copies of the engravings he found at home. However, this displeased his father because he believed his son had no talent for drawing. Fuseli became an ordained Zwinglian minister in 1761, but abandoned it for literature and painting. In 1799, he became a professor at the Royal Academy and keeper in 1804, and held those positions until his death in 1825. Fuseli pursued many of his interests as an amateur, while his younger brother Casper became a professional in the field as an insect painter who gained distinction as an entomologist. In school, Fuseli found the works of Shakespeare and used this to inspire his art. It can be assumed that Fuseli knew many of Shakespeare's plays by heart because he translated many of them in Zurich, but it was seeing the plays in person that made him realize that they were great sources for art. Fuseli once said Shakespeare was the great instructor of mankind who afflicts innocence and virtue. He went to London in 1764 at the age of 23. He was a self-taught artist, so he never experienced the strict teachings of school and the vigorous teachings of the basics. The Nightmare is an oil-on-canvas painting done in 1781, and it was first displayed in the annual Royal Academy Exhibition in London in 1782. He quickly gained fame, as it shocked many of the viewers, but he got very little for the painting compared to the print sellers. The first engravings of this painting quickly spread throughout Europe. Caricatures began to use it for personal and political satire and continued to use it for decades afterwards. Fuseli also painted several versions, probably through commissions. In this painting, a young woman lays across a bed, her arms, neck, and head hanging off the end of the mattress. A monster-like figure crouches on her chest while a horse with glowing eyes emerges from the shadowy background. The woman on the bed is based on an ancient sculpture, but it's a modern-day woman of the 18th century. The creature that sits on the woman's chest is often described as an imp or incubus, which is a type of spirit that lays on top of people in their sleep or even to have sexual intercourse with sleeping women. There has been a lot of debate on what the meaning of the horse is, and if it is a play on the words nightmare. The term comes from Mara, the name of a spirit which in northern mythology visited sleeping women to suffocate or molest them, and is not connected to the word mare. Many believe the horse is based on the figure in Salvatore Rosa's Saul and the Witches of Endor and the sculpture of the horse's tamers in the Piazza Quirinale, Rome. Unlike many of the works of that era, the nightmare subject is not drawn from history, the Bible, or literature. This image came directly from Fuseli's imagination. The horse was not in the initial sketches for this painting. His use of composition in Chiascura gave the image a shortened stage-like foreground, very much like a theater. Because of this painting, Fuseli gained a reputation as a painter of the weird, supernatural, and the shocking. Rumors started to spread about him eating raw pork in order to inspire weird dreams or taking opium. This painting both interested doctors and scientists who focus on sleep paralysis and nightmares, and people interested in traditional folklore with stories of monsters preying on virgins. On the back of this canvas, Fuseli painted an unfinished portrait of a woman, Many have said to be Anna Landaupt, who was Fuseli's unrequited love during a visit to Switzerland in 1779. Although The Nightmare is one of his most famous paintings, he is also famous for his work based on Shakespeare's plays. There's not much data on Fuseli's Macbeth consulting the vision of the armed head, but it is a great work of art in its own right. This cauldron scene is another great example of his fascination with fantasy, terror, and the supernatural. It was painted for the Irish Shakespeare Gallery in Dublin, 1793, and it is still in its original frame. 
One critic was so impressed on seeing it exhibited in 1794 in London at the New Shakespeare Gallery that he wrote that it was perhaps the very best picture he has ever painted. Fuseli uses the same darker tones in this painting as he does in many others. Macbeth leans back as he looks at the armed head, while the witches point towards it. And unlike other artwork, the composition is not triangular. It's very asymmetrical, with most of the action taking place on the left side. However, it's difficult to miss the armed head, since everything points towards it. Fuseli's art is still iconic today, and it has influenced many artists, writers, and directors. His career is interesting, and his choice in darker subject matters is what made him as popular as he is today.